Okay, let's talk about the stress influence tendency. This is a very simple tendency, but it's one that we can all relate to, I'm pretty sure. Anyway, um, there's basically two different types of stress. There's good stress and bad stress. Good stress can actually help us. It can actually make us work at a high capacity, make us work at a more optimal level. For example, when you're playing sports, sometimes you play your best when there's a bit of pressure, when it's the final game or, you know, you have to make this certain team or whatever it is, whatever the case might happen to be. Whenever there's a little bit of pressure, people tend to work better. Look at Kobe Bryant in basketball. Look at Tiger Woods in golf. Look at any athlete. When the pressure is on, they're able to deliver the goods. So good stress definitely helps them. And this isn't only restricted to sports. This also works in different fields. Um, Apple CEO Steve Jobs, um, rest in peace, was very notorious. He was notorious for putting his workers under stress, especially when they were trying to be innovative and come up with the iPhone. He would cut deadlines and make sure that his workers were able to feel the pressure and deliver the goods. The Whenever he cut these deadlines, he never cut them too much to induce bad stress. He never cut them to the point where it was impossible to meet them. He always cut them a little bit to put the pressure on. And this paid off greatly because his team came up with some of the most innovative products, the most celebrated products of all time. Henry Ford did the same thing in the early 19th century when he was coming up with the V8 engine. People said it was impossible, but he kept pushing his team to do it. He induced that good stress. He made them work at a high capacity, and then they came out with the goods once again. So good stress can definitely help you. And a way that this actually works is through putting down deadlines. Whenever you're trying to accomplish something, a good way of doing it is setting a deadline. Let's say you're trying to lose weight with a friend. Give yourself 12 weeks, you and your friend 12 weeks. Make a clear date where you have to weigh in, both of you. And I assure you that you will definitely lose that weight because you have a little bit of that stress there. You've got that good stress pushing you forward. But on the other side of the spectrum, bad stress. Now, bad stress can mess you up pretty bad. Um, I was watching an interview the other day and I, I saw the women's champ, former women's champion, MMA champion, Ronda Rousey. She was talking about how after she lost to Holy Home, she contemplated suicide. She contemplated killing herself because the stress was too much. Stress can actually make you go to these crazy drastic measures. Just look at farmers. A lot of these farmers that live in areas of drought end up killing themselves because they lose their meaning in life. They've become identified with being farmers. They can no longer provide for their family or their community. So the stress is at an all-time high and they tragically end their own life. They take their own life. So stress definitely can have some incredibly negative effects. I was watching TV the other day, watching, I believe it was Hell's Kitchen. Gordon Ramsay was talking to a chef that was under high stress in his kitchen. While talking to this guy, the guy just fainted. The guy just fell on the floor, fainted passed out they need to get paramedic and everything so bad stress is when the stress is too high and you can never work at your optimal levels when the stress is too high matter of fact people have a tendency of making irrational decisions when they are stressed up so always try and keep the stress at a relatively low level so when you're setting goals for yourself don't make it ridiculous and don't don't put yourself in a position where you're going to be under a lot of stress make sure that the stress is just right anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this video we're going to be doing the rest of these so make sure you subscribe peace do it just do it